On the streets of Tunis, where the mood is largely calm and public approval of President Qais Saeed remains high, the depth of Tunisia's multiple crises may be difficult to discern. Still, a sense of unease lingers. We're following the situation day by day. There is no blank check. It's true that we have faith in him and we believe in his good intentions, but the implementation remains an obstacle. On Sunday, Saeed sacked the Prime Minister, froze Parliament for 30 days and lifted the immunity of lawmakers. The president insists his actions were in line with the constitution, but members of the opposition accuse him of staging a coup. For now, no one is quite sure what may happen. On Wednesday, the head of the national television station was replaced. The presidential announcement coming just hours after a journalist and human rights activist were barred from entering the building. Eventually, they were allowed on air. Whatever the explanation of what happened at the state television, civil society is aware of any attempts to affect our freedoms, the liberties acquired through the struggle of the Tunisian people. We are watching where all of this is going carefully. Others watching carefully are press freedom advocates who've grown increasingly worried since Monday when Al Jazeera's bureau in Tunis was raided and workers were told to leave immediately. In an interview with Al Jazeera, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the rights of journalists need to be upheld by Tunisia's government. My comment is that we stand resolutely uh, for freedom of the press and for the ability of journalists to, uh, to do their jobs, uh, including in Tunisia. And we look to the, uh, the government of Tunisia to uh, uphold and respect the rights uh, of, of journalists, uh, and that's one of the things that we expect of them. For his part, President Saeed has tried to reassure the country that he is acting to save Tunisia from corruption. But for a population exhausted by political turmoil, fed up with economic crises, and increasingly alarmed by the surging number of COVID-19 cases, the current uncertainty is only deepening their collective sense of fatigue. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.